All right, guys. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you just a, a simple, quick way for the beginners um, on how to make a moon. In spray paint art, you'll do a lot of moons typically, and you don't have to. It's just something you find. You're going to need a, some kind of vessel like this, uh, something round for your moon. I mean, unless you don't want a round moon, use something odd shaped. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to do two of them. I'm actually going to show you the difference between plastic and paper like a magazine sheet paper um, and plastic where you use a like a bag a Walmart bag or something like that a store bag and over on the right like I said we're gonna use the magazine sheet paper um, magazine sheet paper you can get outside of most of your grocery stores in a little free section uh, we're gonna need white and black we need black there we go it made a surprise I don't know why I did that um, black and white black and white Okay, um, cheap brand, nothing, nothing special. If you're just starting, I'll just grab the cheap stuff, and I'm gonna use some light blue. You can make just a black and white moon. I like the, at least a third color in there, and I figured this light blue will make a nice ice-looking planet, and just make it a little brighter on the background of black background of space. That so you you can kind of see the difference between the paper and the bag um like i said you can get those magazines from the little free stands outside the stores selling homes or whatever you know all right so you know put put your moon stencil where you want to put it your cup grab your black um this is a very beginner thing you don't have to do this but uh, definitely make sure you shake your cans well spray it off to the side see if it if it's spraying the way you want it to spray all right, a little light misting of black, and there you go. See, kind of show you where you can, where you'll, you know, where you want to paint. All right, so we're gonna start here on the right. Grab your white there, and this is almost empty, so it's it's being a pain. Um, give it a, a good amount. You don't want to flood it too much, but you want it wet. Okay. Now get your black, and for magazine sheet paper I actually do it real lightly on it then put a little bit of black just light misting of it because I actually go over this twice and then blue and that's just how I do my paper you can go over it once and you'll see I mean it looks alright and then a little white on top a little more black and grab your paper give it a quick alright so don't let that dry you wanna do this quick okay so grab your paper give it a quick crumble you know, not too much. You actually want some pretty. It, it depends on the size of the the land masses on your planet you want. So, light crumble will give you some bigger ones. Um, as well as don't push it down too hard when you do it, when you wipe it. I always go over it twice with the paper. I like that. Now the second time would be a little darker. And when you pull it off, um, it'll actually you can see some of the ones you did before with some of the ones you just did um, the second time. And it just gives it a little, little deeper look to it. So I'll go over it real quick with some white. Grab the paper. Okay, I'm going to give it a, a harder crumb. We'll give it some little, little spots there. Make the uh, make the sections smaller, and put it on it. And if you just go over it real lightly, it'll show up a lot better. That first time I did it way too hard. I don't know what's going on here. I'm doing this quick. Um, so there you go. I mean, you can kind of see some of the ones in the back. You can. If you, if you can see it well at all, I mean, or my, I'm using a flip camera, the original flip camera, not even the HD. Now, let's uh, let's find out where our light source is. If it was up here, we would put some uh, white on the top here and put the shadowing at the bottom. Um, so even if you don't have a light source in your picture, just pretend on where you think it's going to be. And just kind of put your shadowing where you want it. So I'm put black up top. There's black. Spray to the side. Give it a light little misting there you just want to create a shadow you don't want to darken it completely unless that's what you're going for a little white on the bottom now with these bright ones these bright plants because it's got a, such a white top you don't have to put that white on the bottom it would look fine don't slam this down when you put the stencils on there lightly or it'll leave a ring uh, that one over here will leave a ring I'm sure because that cup I'm going to use has a fatter lip so plastic bag over here all right, so same principle. We're going to do our white. 
I said, we're only going to do this one time instead of twice like I did the paper. So we'll do the black a lot deeper, a lot thicker. And then our blue. Keep the cans shaking. Trust me, keep them shaking. Especially the cheaper ones. All right, blue. And then come back with our white again. And this thing is almost empty. All right, a little white. And now grab your bag. And you can just lay it on top and give it a little wipe and roll. Um, I like to put the hands in it. Get your hands in that bag. That's a good bag. Who's a good bag? You're a good bag. Yes, you are. You're a good Okay, okay. Enough of that. So there we go. Just a little bag. Bag love. <laughs> so that one, we're going to leave the way it is. And just staying with the same principle of our light source being at the bottom. We're going to do black up top. Just real light. And then some white on the bottom. Now, with this one, I should have left no white on the bottom, so you can see that you don't have to put that white down there. Now, this one definitely don't slam. See, this one's a bit thicker. Um, this, I would usually, with this one uh, cup, I would wait for it to completely dry before setting it on there. But for the purpose of this, I'll show you. We'll set it down, and as carefully as we can, try to keep it in line with the, you know, all the grooves of your planet and everything. You know, common sense. Don't put it way off to the side somewhere. Now back there, it's going to leave a, a ring. I, I've done this many times, it does. All right, so now for the space, we need black. We're gonna black it out. Um, uh, more advanced back space, you know, you put a, a, a different layer color down and then go over to the black. Now here, here, don't spray underneath the thing, right at the edge, it will go underneath it. You wanna lightly spray at the edge so it doesn't pool or seep underneath it. Trust me, it, when it does that, you'll you'll do it a couple of times and you'll realize, oh, I screwed up. Um, but it, just add it and work your way down lightly. You can go a little heavier on the outsides, but not up around it, try to be a little light with it. Make sure you get the backs. Um, that's I actually fault myself on that one a lot. I, I miss the backs of them somewhat. I don't get quite as close as I should back here. And I end up, you can see this little, looks like an atmosphere coming off the top of the planet. So in some cases it looks all right, but, um, all right, white, we're going to do the stars. You put some on your finger, flick them on there. Uh, I actually, we're going to use a glove, okay? I would suggest using the glove. It makes cleaning your, you know, you ain't got to clean your hands. The paint doesn't exactly come off the hands all that well. Um, and the chemicals and some of it, you know, you don't want them to get in it. You, you, you don't want that stuff, so use a glove, um, or at least clean your hands quickly right afterwards. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit on a finger here. And then I give a little flick off to the side, and then put the stars on there. Now, why we flick it off to the side first is, you know, you get those little dots if you flick it off to the side first, uh, like stars. If you don't flick it off, over there to the side first. I you're gonna end up with these larger sections. So I'll flick it off first. Otherwise, you know, like you're gonna get these big beads because you got so much paint on your finger, and you just want little ones. I mean, you don't want a star the size of your moon right there, a big white blob. If you're gonna do that, then make a you know a star, uh, make the moon darker, like a red or yellow or orange or something like a like a star. Um, so some stars just wherever you want them I like to make little patches in one spot where there's just a whole bunch it's like a far away little nebula collection of stars or something now over here over here for the fun of it you know I'm just gonna make like this it's just thinking about that light source which just doesn't this will just be kind of stupid over here but a little white <clears throat> and it just kind of looks like that little star in the back somewhere or something and you can spray on the edge here just to give an outline of the brightness of the, the moon or something. That's in a different video. So we'll just take these off, show you what we got. And there we go. There we go. There's that ring. See? So that lip should let it dry first. And over here, see there, I missed that back like I always do. Yeah. <laughs> Knew I would. Um, but just to show you. And it's not too bad. See? 
So I'll try to let it dry for so see how it looks like an atmosphere on the top there. It's missed it, should have done a little better. And these are little things you're going to do. You're probably going to have happen once or twice. It's going to happen. It doesn't completely ruin it. It's just pay attention, take your time, do it right. And so this is, see, I like that one there with the bag. It looks really cool. It just depends on what you what you're going for, what your picture is going to be, what you want. Use a combination of both if you want. Um, but because the bag stays wrinklier, it's a lot, you're going to get those finer, thin lines, whereas a piece of paper is going to give you bigger, wider sections of land masses. All right, so with this little nebula down here, I think I'm going to add some blue to this and then top it with the white on top of it is what I should have done. Um, so let's take our blue. And this has nothing to do really with this whole video, and I'm just doing it. There we go, a little blue, and hit it with the white on top, and that'll make it look a little more, a little more starish, I guess you could say, or something. And something you can do too if you wanted. You know, I don't really do that, but there we are. Our moons. Make sure you sign your paintings if it's something you want to keep or something you're not just gonna toss it in the bin right away or something. Just sign it. You know, be proud of it. And this is, that's it. I'll see you next time on our, on our next video. Thank you.